Hey drivers, this is Andrew at Third Coast RC in Houston and uh, we're going to continue our videos about entry level trucks and today we're going to look at this truck. We did a video the other day about um, the Volcanoes. We did both the entry level EPX, the brushed version, and also the um, EPX Pro. But today we're going to talk about this truck, the Blackout SC. So this is a short course version of the Blackout. The Red Cat Blackout, they do um, this short course version, they do a truck and they also do a buggy. Uh, today we're going to look at this uh, kind of cool looking um, Blackout SC. So what does it come with? Let's take a look on a box here. Powerful brush motor, so this is a brush system, motor with a heat sink, 16 turn motor. These are strong motors in these trucks. Um, brush DSC, 40 amp, um, waterproof, dust proof. And it has the little switch where you can switch between nickel metal hydro, NIMH and Lipoly battery. Uh, then it's got uh, a high torque servo in here. I don't think it's that high torque, but uh, you know, it's got a uh, rear bumper with mud flaps, durable chassis, it's got a heatsink on the motor, it's got adjustable threaded shocks, we'll look at them in more detail, suspension, got a nice transmission cover to keep the dirt and debris out of there. So it's a nice looking truck, so let's take a look in the box here. So here we go, comes nicely packaged in this box, the uh, truck is covered, the truck body is covered with this protective film. Got this pack in on the side, the instruction manual here, um, radio transmitter will be inside here. So let's quickly take a look what we have in here. We have the charger, uh, standard charger, charge your batteries in about, let's see, it's a, um, see what its output is here, output, one amp, one amp output. So this truck comes with a 3000 milliamp battery which is quite big so this charger if the battery is totally flat it's going to take three hours to charge that battery. Uh, comes with antenna tube, bind plug in here, standard radio, the standard red cat radio it's a nice quality basic radio that, um, that uh, takes four double A's. So let's put them in. We've got four double A's here. So we're going to run this truck. One, two, three, four. The truck comes bound to the radio from the factory. Hopefully, we'll find out in a minute. <laughs> Should be bound. And standard radio with the SU powers on. We got um, steering jewel rate adjustment. It's come from the factory set at 75. So jewel rate is how much the steering turns throttle trim you shouldn't have to mess with steering trim in case the steering needs a little bit of adjustment we'll see when we run it um, got the charger we'll put that to one side we'll get these chuck them over there and then we got the truck here that is um, let's see it is fastened to this all right it's fastened in here so we're just going to pop these little uh, one reaching there and pop the other one it's kind of like zip tied in here stop it shaking about during transit you don't want to get a truck that's all broken in pieces when it's delivered to you um, so now it's free so we can take a closer look at it here and um, let's take this plastic cover off here so we're gonna run this truck all right beautiful looking body I mean, look at that. It looks cool. You know, it's a nice looking short cost truck here. Good looking wheels. Um, beautiful looking body with these, uh, with the, you know, the nice fairings over the rear wheel here. We've got simulated exhaust fans on here. Here's the rear bumper with the cool mud flap system. That's a nice little scale. scale touch on this truck and uh, you know, these wheels are specific to this short course truck um, they're nice looking black wheels they fit they fit the truck well so all in all it looks kind of cool and it looks kind of mean this is a short course truck so it's not really meant to like you know, go heavy duty off-road um, 
know, but it'll manage the grass around here, we'll show you in a minute. And, uh, you know, it'll jump um, not quite as well as the truck versions, but it can still jump through the air, no problem with that. I mean, it's a bashing truck, you know. These going out the door for like 150, 160, something like that. So let's see what we got underneath here. I'm going to scoot these boxes back in the bed of my truck here, get them out of the way. So here we go, four body pins here. Off they come, off comes the body, them down there so we don't lose them. So what have we got here? We've got the safety warnings, charge battery before use, and how to connect the battery. So yep, you know how to do that, but uh, it's there if you want to read it. Um, here we got um, the speed controller. Here's the motor. This motor, these motors are really good. We sell a lot of these motors separately. The crawler guys really love them. Everybody loves these uh, these motors. They run real strong. They're not too expensive. They're a brush motor, but they uh, they've got pretty good performance, and um, they uh, they they seem to last. It comes with a 3000 milliamp nickel metal hydride battery. So it's a good battery for beginners, you know. You can abuse nickel metal hydrides to a certain extent. Doesn't matter if you run them flat, you don't need to worry about putting them in storage mode, anything like that. Just put the truck away with the battery charged or discharged. And six months later, you can come back, just recharge it a little bit and the battery will be good to go. Um, the shocks on here, we can see they're plastic bodied, but they are threaded shocks, which is a nice touch, yeah? Don't have them little clips that go in there. Um, front bumper here, supported by this brace. Rear bumper's not really got too much support, but uh, hopefully you're not going to go flying into too much stuff backwards, but it looks cool. Um, top brace here, so it's a four-wheel drive truck, so we can see the drive shaft going down the center here. The covered um, gear train is under here where the motor connects to the spur gear. And uh, all in all, a real nice looking truck. One thing about the black outliner trucks is the suspension arms, these upper arms, um, the uh, steering knuckles and everything, exactly the same. This truck was designed to have a minimal part count, parts count, so they're completely interchangeable between the front and the rear, so you don't have to worry about buying different suspension arms for the front or the rear. It's the same with the shocks, they're the same all the way around. You can get full aluminum versions of these shocks and other hop-ups for this truck, yeah? Now, I like this truck, yeah? But I said in our previous video that I like the Volcano more. And I do like the Volcano just a little bit more than the Black Outline of trucks. Not that there's anything wrong with the Black Outline of trucks, yeah? But, uh, and they do come with a little bit bigger capacity battery. Um, in the brushed form, they're great. They're great starter trucks. In the pro version, you just got to be a little bit careful. In the pro version, they got a lot of power in the pro version. Truck's not that heavy and they are easy to overdrive them. The short course truck in the pro version, it's a handful, yeah? It's hard to drive, yeah? And a lot of people buy them and they just go crazy with the pro versions and they wreck them or they break the chassis or they do something worse than that and we can't do much worse than break the chassis but um, you know and they, they they complain about the durability but it's the way they drive them you know there's just a lot of power for this chassis to handle the Volcano handles the upgrades better and I think it's just a little bit more robust truck all around the Volcano and it comes with an 8 shock system as well so it makes it better for jumping off ramps and things like that this one will bottom out when it's landing from jumping off ramps and you're going to get scratches and scuffs and you might damage your chassis but you know they're a bashing truck you know they're not really meant to be a racing truck but it looks cool I like it there's nothing I don't have any particular problems with it so we've got the radio turned on here so let's plug the battery in comes with HXT uh, four millimeter banana plugs this truck so we plug it in it has this cool little kind of thing here that holds the wires in place if you want to use it turn it on and so yep bound from factory so we've got right left it's got a spring loaded servo saver here on the servo this is only a three gram servo it's not the best servo in the world but it's uh, it, it gets you started and um so we've got forward and we've got, we've got reverse 
and we got brake. So it's all good, it's all ready to go. So let's give a demonstration to you guys out there how this runs on the street here. So we'll put the body back on. The clips are over here where I left them. One. It looks cool. Another problem that there is with the Pro one is it tends to, unless you adjust the suspension system, these tires are pretty grippy and on high traction surfaces like what we're going to run on here, it likes to roll over. It likes to do traction rolls in the corner. Of course you can tune the suspension to do that, but it's frustrating for someone who's just bought a truck to go out and just, why is it rolling over? Why is it flipping over all the time as it going to the corners? You know, you have to really slow down a lot. So these tires don't really slide much, they just um, bite and then you get traction roll. So it looks cool, looks cool on the ground. I love the look of this truck, it's short, it's squat, it's a very short wheelbase, the wheels are at the corner, it's almost like an old school British Mini, you know the way, the way that it looks there. It has a great look on the ground, so let's see how it goes. Alright, here we go. So it goes like a brush truck goes. It's not super fast, but it goes a reasonable speed for somebody just starting out. And what I notice here is that this one is not like so overpowered. You don't go in the corner so fast, and it does. The tires break a little bit, and it's not trying to do that roll up. It's got tons of steering, even at 75% where it's set now on the dual rate. Plenty of steering. You don't really want more than that. We put it at 100 and it's probably going to dig in at the front and flip over. And it looks cool. So let's put it on the grass here. So onto the grass we go. And it's going over the grass. No problem going over the grass there. Then we drop on the curb. We get on it there. This truck's not, probably not going to do donuts. Things like that. But it looks... It looks great. I can't get over kind of how it almost looks cute. It's kind of weird, right? But anyway, if a car can look cute, this one looks cute. And it's got great performance. It's going to be great for entry level, um, entry level drivers, new drivers, new to RC, kids or adults. It's a great starting point. You can upgrade it to the brushless system, or you can take this truck. The speed control is set up so that you can put um, put um, lipos in this truck if you want, or you'll need a different charger. Uh, or you can go to an 8.4 volt like hump pack in here. With just if you use Velcro to strap the battery down, you can use it. Put an 8.4 volt nickel metal hydride battery in here to give it give it a bit more power. Um, if you want it, if you want it to go a little bit faster without spending a tremendous amount of money. So this is, you know. It's very good. I mean, you can see here, you know, straight out of the box, running up and down there, no problems. It looks good, looks great. It's very well set up. The chassis on this truck is very stiff. You know, it's um, it's uh, it, it's well set up um, from the factory, and you can see we get these pine needles out here, and uh, with the with the low parts count, then that keeps your expenses down because you buy front want a pair of front suspension arms. If you break one, then you've got spares for the front or for the rear. Same with the shocks. Same with the, all the suspension components. Pretty much are completely swappable front to rear, which is a real nice touch. These tires are not too expensive if you wear them out. Of course, they're standard 12 millimeter hex fitting. Uh, you can uh, you can swap them out for something different if you want. I think they look great on this truck. Give it a nice look. You know we've got a bumper on the front here, and uh, it uh, you know it all it all really looks really looks good. Um, you know, keep it away from curbs, keep it away from trees, keep it away from parked cars. You don't want to crash into any of them things. And one of these trucks can last you many, many, many years, and the new bodies are not too expensive. Um, so I think it's, I think it's a great choice. So if you've got any um, if you've got any questions. Please post them in the comments below, and uh, what we'll do is um, we'll get the answers back to you. We try and answer the questions that people put in our in our comments boxes. Check us out on Facebook and on Instagram, Third Coast RC, and um, we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.